This is just a small tribute to all of our King James buddies. Yeah, boy! Oh, careful. Careful of that. It's been seven uh, times washed. That's all you want to say? Hey, Joey. Hey, uh, <laughs> Jonathan. I'm just kidding. That's it. <laughs> Texas just minding my own business and I come across this this geological phenomenon apparently it's a landmark of the famous route 66 and from what I understand there's been a, a debate a real heated debate about this this uh, anomaly that's been going on for like hundreds and hundreds of weeks and that is how did this get here what what is it now, admittedly, it looks like a bunch of cars buried in the ground. So a lot of people think that this is where we got the idea for car design, is that we saw this and, uh, you know, over the millions of years, it, it just became implanted in our mind and our brain. And, and when we were designing cars, we thought, hey, here's a good design, let's, let's just copy that. See, a lot of people think that over millions and millions of years, all the metals and everything were able to, to come together in some miraculous uh, uh, connection of, of simple celled metals and stuff like that until finally it formed into to different uh, metallic shapes and stuff and here you have 10 metallic shapes and they're all basically the same shape and they all have the same formation to them okay so there's a, there's a pattern to this type of metal that was formed each one of these these uh, metallic items has two rubber things attached to to, to parts of it almost almost like tires on a car and I say almost because number one it would only be like half a car and and if you notice on close inspection you'll see that some of them don't don't have uh, the necessary items to be a car uh, there's no seats in there some of them don't even have what we would call trunks or uh, or doors um, and obviously the colors all wrong Ca cars don't come in that color that's after all those eons of time, eventually the, the, the columns, the, the layers of sediment and everything started to build up around them. And so you can just imagine the, the front end of those, those metallic objects over there are, are buried under, under who knows how many millions of years of layers of dirt. If somebody did, in recent history, make this happen, well the question is, why would they go through the trouble of making it look like that it took millions of years to form. Now, I'm not a tremendously powerful scientific scholar, but I'm just going to assume that somebody is responsible for what we see right here. And I don't I don't have any science to back it up per se, but I'm going to I'm going to use my brain and and my observation skills and my reasoning and and I'm gonna say, you know, this this has a lot of design features to it. We, we don't have any recorded history like back in the 1800s of this being here. We don't have any Native American legends or anything about, about metallic things lined up, sticking out of the dirt, I don't think. So who is responsible for this? Is it time and random chance? Or is it just some guy with a really weird idea? world may never know.